Right. So yeah. So moto siya ang uh, overview sa e-commerce. So moto siya nga um gamit. So uh, again, ang e-commerce is if if you learn how to design and develop websites, pwede kang mag Shopify VA. Um, it doesn't mean na uh, you you have to actually design and develop the entire website uh, because some of the clients are looking for Shopify VA para mo list down sa lahat products mag-update sa mga product details, mag-upload of product, mag-update sa mga images, mag-update sa prices, and whatever. So, you can be become a Shopify VA or Shopify designer developer. It means you'll have to design and develop an entire Shopify web for your payment way na guys, ha? So, please don't know nga karon. Yeah. I mean, most of us, most of mga sellers there sa Philippines are still doing the traditional business like um, selling selling products on Facebook and then manually manually accepting the payments, di ba? But in Shopify, you can automate everything. So, it's just like mura silag na sa Lazada or sa shop, Shopee, but in mo ka ugali ng store, okay? So, kato siya, and then third one is if you are interested in selling goods and products online then you can easily build your own store so you don't have to hire designers and developers out there to build your store so if business owner ka then it's if you're a startup business owner then it's also nindot sad na inuhaning katonan so there are types of business na pwede na tong well actually pwede na tong mabuhat sa Shopify store so there is business to customers where business sell to customers so node is business to business business sells to other businesses so na sometimes ako na put kay clients wherein they offer wholesale so it means that they're selling their products to other business owners. Sad. And then C to C, consumer sales to other consumers, example eBay. Pero kaning Shopify, um, I, I don't recommend it to I dili na ko siya recommend for an mark for a marketplace ko an kanagan more of Shopee and eBay and dagan kayo sellers. Mostly, most people nga mugami sa Shopify are katong mga branded na sila yung mga branded na mga goods nga gipang sell online. So, what is Shopify? Shopify is a leading e-commerce platform that enables individuals and businesses to create, manage, and operate their online stores. It provides a comprehensive set of tools and features for selling products and services over the internet. So on Shopify, this is the platform that we are going to use para makabuild ta o gato ang storefront. When you say storefront, it's your online online shop. So basically, it's like Lazada and Shopee, but your own brand. So wala nang wala dil no need you you na di ka makita og Lazada and Shopee logo so you can actually customize everything according to your likings and or according to your clients liking so iko it's your personal store and then we use Shopify to build this storefront pero note guys that dili ka Shopify ra ang platform nga pwede na tong gamiton para makabuild ta og e-commerce store or ato ang storefront there are all other platforms out there like um wordpress and woocommerce so those two combinations lahat na sila nga platform but still we can create an e-commerce stores by those platforms we have presta shop we have uh, um there's actually a lot pero right now shopify a pinaka best nga platform in terms of building an e-commerce store because it's very easy to use. Dali ka siya gamitin sa mga clients ninyo and as well as kamo pud if ganahan mo uh, mag-design and develop sa inyong own website. So, dali ka siya gamitin very user-friendly and, and 
na ano siya tanan dito you'll have the email marketing kanang tracking of customers kung asa mostly imong customers reports na ano siya dito tanan which and I will uh, be showing you later on so getting started with Shopify so now we have finished so I hope na kasabot mo kung unsa ng Shopify kung unsa ng e-commerce so I guess you you're ready to know more kung saan siya pag set up so there are different ways to set up a Shopify account number one is partners account and then the second one is the free trial account so partners account so if you are a freelancer like me so I have partners account by the way and hold on let me share it to you guys So this is my Shopify partners account. So I highly recommend creating a partners account if you are a freelancer. Why? Because in every store that you create, so for example, like me, in Shopify partners, you can be able to create development stores which are test stores na pwede ni mong i-transfer si mong clients and then when your client paid for the subscription of Shopify, you'll get 50% every month on payment. So, another passive income siya if, if you are a Shopify partner. And then another one is and as you can see right here, these are all my clients and daghan pa nila sila, daghan pa nila pages. And another thing, the benefits of becoming a Shopify partner is you'll become a part of the... Note guys, this is for the freelance ha, na ganahan mag-freelance. Ganahan mag to for you to for, for you to create a Shopify partners account. So another benefit aside sa... 20% commission every time your client pays for their subscription, you'll become a part of the um, Shopify partners directory, which means that um, kaya Shopify po, tanina platform, they have this Shopify directory, which in, if na mga clients mangita o Shopify experts, um, easily ka, gilist ka sa Shopify sa ilahang directory na pwede kang makita sa mga potential clients. So, as you can see, I have here my, I'm already in the Shopify partners directory. So, easy na kayo, bisag dili kumu market sa other platforms, I can still get clients from, from their directory. Second one is, if you are just if you are a business owner and you're trying to create your own store, then you can you can you can try and create a free trial account. Here's uh, Shopify.com. You'll just have to go into Shopify.com and um start a start a fourteen days free trial. So business owner and ganahan ka mag build ka site to scale up your business online then you can start a free trial in Shopify um play around it and create your own store so yeah i think i have already discussed the benefits of si signing up as partner pro right so again you'll get 20% recurring commission after transferring ownership to clients then you can easily manage multiple clients in uh, in under one Shopify dashboard. Then you can have yes again you, an, another thing is that is that you you will have an access to free training courses so Shopify side. They own partner support so every time na kay questions or na kay mga gikalibgan sa Shopify you can easily chat sa lang support and then reply na sila nimo in 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 a, in minutes. So setting up your Shopify store, store configuration. All right, so kani I'll be showing you an example of how the Shopify store backend looks like, okay? So let me go to one of my uh, maybe it's a development stores lang. I'll go here so go Goldberg, okay? 
So by the way, guys, kanina store, this is um a real store for my client from the Philippines na client and he owns a streetwear fashion brand. So money a website that I just created recently. So money siya on Shopify back end. So as you can see, um that's why makainan ko very user friendly, easy to use case yeah. And super nice kay Murashok all in one platform for, for all your e-commerce needs. So as you can see, orders, if someone orders in your store, you will makita na ni Mudri sa orders nga page. You can even see abandoned checkouts para ma masenda ni mo sila o um, email, not, email notification that they left something in their cart or a checkout. You can offer them discounts just to win them back products so are nimo makita ang tanan nimo listed products right here and you can easily add products by clicking the add product right here so by the way guys number one, um the first setup of jud is first jud better if mag add mo og products una before mo mag design sa inyo ang Shopify store and then configure everything in the back end first before mo mag design so th this is just the principle that I've learned. Yeah, I think mas sayon siya. Because if mag-design mang good kanya, wala pa na setup yung back end, wala pa kay products, super rain, dili ka malingaw sa mong work. So muna siya ang add of products. You'll just have to go into products. Click the add, click the add product button right here. And then type in the title of your product, the description, um, add the media, add the category, so if it's electronics, food, beverage, baby or toddlers na mga kuan, pricing, you can also put compare at price para so that it will look like nag sell ka. So compare at price is like atong gi crash out nga price and then kunuhay ang new price is mo siyang price din mo. So charge tax on this product, you can uncheck the you don't you, ne you don't need to put cost per item pero if you have um, if you're selling products and you know how much the cost, kung sayang pagbuhat, you can put it here para makakita ka sa, sa inyong profit, makakita ka sa under na sa inyong report. And you can all, well, you, you'll have to track quantity, shipping. Yeah, so this is, if your product is a physical product, then it check lang niya never mind about the weight, and then click on save. And then another section right here is the collections page so this is um this is the part where in the group ni mo products in so for example so i have two collections right here these are the limited edition products and the october collection products so i've grouped them so kani siyang mga limited editions is mo ni siyang mga mahal kay na products nga pang the newest collection they currently sell. So that's how you organize your products para masayun siya pangitaon sa mga customers and that's very important sa mong e-commerce stores. Inventory, so you can easily... Kani guys, um, after if malearn na ninyo, then you can apply Shopify VA na after because I've already showed you how to add products, how to edit the descriptions by the way so okay so if, if you have this current product and then you want to edit it just click on it and then you can now edit it you can change the photo add the photos um change the pricing basically change everything and then you'll just need to click on save purchase orders you don't need that inventory so kanisha this is the part para for example one yung client can you help me update my inventory so more ano na so available imo i update kung pila available on hand pila stock ninyo so ara ara nimo and then click on save gift card so if the goon kasi ng client to put a, a gift card so i think a lot of us know naman siguro ko unsa na ang gift card so gift cards are cards na pwede na tumapalit sa Osaka store and imo ni murag imo siyang isend to to your friend or imo siya isend as a gift to someone and then they can use this card 
to buy in your e-commerce store. But not really important because most of them don't use gift cards. Catalogs, not important as well. Customers. So, kani. Um, so, these are, are you register tanan customers na nipalit sa mong store or ni subscribe sa mong email. So, if sugon ka sa mong client to maybe to check kinsay mga namal or kinsay uh, customers ninyo, you can go into customers and check if kinsay mga customers ninyo contents. So, basically, are ni mo makitaan tanan files, tanan uploaded images na ipanggamit ni mo sa imuhang website. So, tanan diri ma-upload there is a uh, um, files and then next we have the analytics so if you're a Shopify VA guys so mostly ang buhato ninyo ana is mag-report mo sa inyong client kung unsa na nahitabo ko silang store pilay sales nila karong adlawa taga-asa na ang mga namalit nila so, makita na nyo dres sa live view kung taga-asa ng mga tao, ang mga ni-order, visitors right now. So, this is real time guys. Ah. After ninyo i-connect ang analytics and time mo visit sa sa inyong Shopify store, makita na nyo dres kay na din number mo gawas dres nga. This customer is currently, one visitor is viewing your store right now. Bro, if you're a VA, um, pinaka-important trigger ni mo tanaw ni sang analytics so that you'll know um, so that makabaw ka kung pilay sales nila karong adlawa and easily you can report it to your boss or to your client. Marketing. Another another feature sa Shopify is ang marketing. So, sa kaning part right here, if if you are uh, if you are an email marketer, magamit ka na nato dari ang inyong pagka-email uh, marketer. We're running out of time, guys. But anyways, I'll be sending another link if diligent siya ma if diligent siya ma ko ma abot sa time. So yeah, again, so marketing. So kani you can easily create campaigns like Shopify emails. Pwede ka magbuhat dary mga campaigns and automations as well. Kung so for example, kani abandon checkout. So I think kato mga email marketers dary ah kabaw na mo on sending mga campaigns and automations and these are just the things that I want to show you nga why Shopify is discounts so these are the discounts that you're offering in your store so for example Monaka get 5% discount if just put in your email and get 5% discount so if one name wong boss can you please create discount in Shopify store go so go into discounts click on create discounts and then you can select different types of discounts pero mostly mo ni siyang gigamit amount of products so ako mostly I, I want to put discount code so for example exclusive exclusive 10 so and then discount value put 10 right here and then applies so kani applies to if you want to apply this discount to all of the products then you don't have to put anything right here. Pero if ganahan ka nga sa certain product ra siya mabutang. So, for example, if ganahan ko sa limited edition ra, so I'll check this. Click on add. And then, minimum purchase requirement. So, let's say minimum quantity. So, if mo palit silag usa, then they'll get discount. Or if mo palit silag duha, then they'll get discount. So, customer eligibility. So, you can select kung unsa nga customers si ganahan. So, you can go with sa mga email subscribers lang or sa mga tao nga wala pa ka purchase sa mga bago sa inyong website nga ning sod or mga customers nga ning purchase na for more than once and you're planning to give them a discount on their second purchase then you can select this customers who have purchased at least once same same rasila pero kani more than once lang gay siya so currently all customers lang sa ta and then limit the number it can be used in total. So I don't usually check that. Can you just limit to one use per customer? And then click on save. So can it na ko save because this is a real client website. So so as you can see, money summary niya exclusive then type and method. So amount of products, code 
So that means customers will have to manually in input the exclusive 10 discount code at checkout para makuha nila ilang 10% discount. Or maybe you'll have to put this in somewhere, maybe in the in the announcement bar that you're having an exclusive 10% promo for new customers. So details niya, all customers ni mo apply. So one user per customer, so it means one email per customers. And this can't be combined with other discounts. So that can siya, din siya pwede ma, if na kay other discounts, din siya pwede ma-combine. O sa ragid ka discount, active, so active from today. And then click on save. So that's it. Pero this one, I'll just discard this, this since this is a real client website. Then online store. So guys, diri na nato makita kung saan pag-design sa website. But anyways, let's let's first go to blog post. So blog post, currently I don't have any blog post. But if your Shopify client will ask you to create a blog post, you can just go into blog post, create a blog post right here, and then type in the title title the content the excerpt and then add the featured image and then click on save pages so if your client asks you to create another page maybe for for an about us page or an exclusive deal page just click on add page so similar to shatanan it's just like you're adding products but page lang siya so add title, add the content, and then click on save. Navigation. So when you say navigation, so money siya navigation at all guys. And then as well as this one. So as you can see, I have three navigation, one main menu, one our company and customer support. So this is the main menu, our company and customer support. So if your client will ask you to add pages in your, for example, main menu, go into your main menu, uh, click on... Click on add menu right here and then search for the page that you like to add. So for example, about Gold World, click on that and then click on save. That's how easy it is. References. So munisha mga was sa meta description sa Google. So Gold World official store and then wala pa, well, you, you'll have to put a short description. So when you say meta description, it's the... For example, uh, chat or maybe Canva. So, money siya meta description right here. So, this is very important sa SEO. So, don't forget to add it sa inyong Shopify store. And next one is point of sale. Not really important at all. So, let's go into online store. So, money siya nga part ang pag-customize sa inyong online store. So, by, um, I can show you in this webinar, guys. Kay taas taas din siya na video. But, I'm just giving you a sneak peek on how it looks like. So, as you can see, so if you want to edit the, if you want to edit the, Header, you can do it by just clicking this blue um, section, kanin ni blue nga section, and then you can change it middle left, middle center. So as you can see, na change uh, the image as well. Click, I click lang na ninyo nga koan icon, and then so as you can see, makita niyo there is slideshow image, slideshow banner, and then monisha. So if I want to change this one, pwede na nakumbuhaton by clicking on remove image. And then upload another one. This one is the featured collection image. So Monisha, um, so that I can feature all the images that is being offered in this store, I can set number of columns on desktop and number of products to show. So 10 and 5. So 10 overall, yeah, 5. Next one, this is the multi-row section. So... I usually use this to introduce new products. So as you can see, October collection, because I'm introducing the new products right here that they currently have. And this, this is the October collection. And you can easily change it again by just clicking on this blue sections like that. So can you edit any more collection? So as you can see, I'm editing it right now. As you can see. By the way, guys, if makuwangan ta sa time since two minutes na lang nabi rin, I'll send another link. At, um, just click on the discussion sa 
sa event and then rejoin. Because I think makuangan kuangan ta sa oras. And then, so that I can also answer your questions, guys. Featured collection. So again, in the featured collection is more the same, same, rani sila, but I just uh, displayed a different set of collections. So mo to ninyo ganiya, so that para magroup ninyo ang collection. So as you can see, I have here two collections, the limited edition and the October collection. And as you can see, selected ang October collection. So that's why ang October collections mo ay nakita dari. The next part is the footer. So, sa footer, um, sa'yo na na siya. So, muna siya structure sa itong footer dere. So, as you can see, footer our company, which is Kani. Uh, mailisan, din, mailisan sa din ninyo, you can change menus na inyong ganun ni Botong dere. You can customize it. This one also, Kani said, you can change the text. As you can see, I'm changing the text right now. So that's it. And then guys, automatically, kanisha, once naka-add na mong products, automatically na na siya product page. You'll just have to create the, kamuli mo create sa description and the name. Pero automatically, inanin na na siya. To all of the products na inyong di-upload. And then as well as the, ang contact us, you don't have to do anything with it. Okay, automatic na na siya nga contact us page. Diha. And then as well as the checkout there guys as well as a checkout. So, automatic tanan, tanan jud naka set up na na all you have to do is design and configure the back end of Shopify. So, like, na mga shipping, mga payment.